Are you an intercessor? I mean, like a legit bona fide intercessor, someone who feels called to go deep with God in intercession. I mean, some people, they pray now and then they pray for themselves. There's others who stand in the gap and make up the hedge. Listen, I believe you need to get commissioned because something happens. Something shifts when you get commissioned into the office of an intercessor. And I do believe there's an office. Listen, Jesus is still seated in heaven, making intercession for us. That's all we know about his heavenly ministry. Even now, we don't know what else he's doing up there, but we know he's praying for us. He's still making intercession. Scripture says it twice. I believe there's an office. And I believe if you're standing in that office, you need, you would benefit, you would accelerate with commissioning. Listen, I'm Jennifer LeClaire, and I'm the leader of the Awakening House of Prayer Global Movement, as well as Awakening Prayer Hubs. We have intercessors in dozens of nations around the earth. We have hundreds in dozens of nations. And I believe in establishing them, in equipping them, and in commissioning them into that office. Because here's the thing. We see Ephesians 4.11. And we know that Jesus gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, some teachers for the equipping of the saints, for the work of the ministry, to the edifying of the body of Christ. Those are the fivefold offices. But I still believe there's an office of the intercessor. Those are there are some who are just clearly and specifically gifted for intercession. In this way, there's a gift, there's a calling, there's an office, there's a mantle. Amen. What is commissioning? Maybe you've never heard of commissioning. Some people use the word ordination. Commissioning is essentially blessing a person and affirming them in the use of their God-given gifts. Now, the actual definition of commission is granting the power to perform acts or duties, a certificate conferring military rank, authority, and charge. Commissioning includes the laying on of hands, impartation. Uh, sometimes we can't go to some of the places where our intercessors are, so we do it via Zoom, we do it via video. And when I commission people, they say they sense a stronger prayer anointing with deeper prophetic unction, as well as an apostolic governmental authority in prayer and spiritual warfare. Listen, when I was commissioned, ordained by Christian International under Bishop Bill Hammond, he laid his hands upon me. I'd already been prophesying for 20 years. But the next morning on my prayer broadcast, my prophetic unction went off the charts. That's what happens. Everyone I commission tells me they received something, something good from God, an impartation. They received something, something from God, a new anointing, a, a deeper well, because the anointing flows from the head. And so I am looking to commission intercessors all over the world because I believe that your gift is so critical in this hour that you need the right alignment. You need that impartation. You know, Paul, the apostle said, he told the church in, in Rome, he said, I desire to come to you that I might impart some spiritual gift to you that you might be established. And so I would invite you because I commission intercessors in the context of awakening prayer hubs. I don't do it in any other way than through Awakening Prayer Hubs. And so if you want to be eligible for commissioning, join Awakening Prayer Hubs. What's Awakening Prayer Hubs? Awakening Prayer Hubs is a prayer movement, revival-minded, awakening, souls-driven. In other words, we're going after souls. We're doing prayer evangelism. We're standing in the gap for our city. Listen, if we don't pray more and more, it's going to get worse and worse. You see earthquakes in diverse places. You see floods, you see hurricanes, you see the love of many growing cold, you see false prophets rising, you see wars and rumors of wars. We are literally in the end times and we can't pray, our, pray the end times away. We can pray our way through the end times. We've got hundreds of intercessors in scores of nations around the world. We're a true family. This is my family of intercessors. I commission through the context of relationship, my way to build relationship with you, intercessors, is Awakening Prayer Hub. So consider joining the movement at awakeningprayerhubs.com. When you do, you'll have a lot of equipping. I'll pray disciple you. I'll get to know you. You'll have a prayer family. There's so much available to you in the context of our prayer family, our prayer movement. Check it out at awakeningprayerhubs.com. I'm going to drop the link in the comments below. I love you guys, and I hope to see you at awakeningprayerhubs.com.